Another MPOX case has been reported in Kerala and the health department has urged anyone with symptoms to seek treatment. Earlier this week, Kerala recorded the country's first confirmed case of clad 1B strain. In response, a high-level evaluation meet was convened to assess the situation. State Health Minister Veena George stated that a contact list for the patient has been compiled and preventive measures are being implemented. She also urged all travellers returning to the state from abroad to contact the health department if they experience any kind of symptoms and also to seek medical attention. Ma'am, uh, second uh, M-box case has been detected in the state and how is the state government going to tackle this? The patient is quite stable. So the second case was reported in uh, Ernakulam. The patient is now in a private uh, hospital and he, uh, with symptoms, he came from uh, uh, another country. So he suspected, he himself suspected that it's M-box. So he took all the precautions and he directly went to uh, the hospital. So, and now he's keeping stable and we'll be, uh, M-box was found positive and uh, we'll also be doing the genomic sequencing. And also, other than uh, M-box, there have been multiple diseases that has been detected in the state. How well prepared is the state to tackle all the diseases collectively if coming? See, the most important thing is that why these cases, this kind of diseases are getting reported in Kerala. It's because the health system is, uh, uh, is such that every single disease is detected, we diagnose because uh, this MPOS itself, it's played one, the first case. But see, uh, outside African countries, only in Sweden and Thailand, played one B was detected. Then why here? Yeah, because he came from another country. So it's because our system, health system, is uh, it has uh, such a, I mean, great uh, what uh, protocol. Every single disease is diagnosed, and we are all well prepared. Nothing to worry about. Ma'am, uh, the isolation wards that has been set up in different districts, as you said, ma'am, uh, is there any special team which is handling this health team? That we have a, our health uh, team in DHS. We have uh, the public health team is there. I mean, they are there. Uh, we have not appointed any special team, so they will be do, uh, monitoring this. And in, also in DME, also we have a team who who they are monitoring this kind of things. I'm in Tiruvanthapuram, as the, it is the capital, do we have any special systems that are in place in Tiruvanthapuram specifically? What uh, like uh, for you know in case or uh, the diseases go out of control because we have seen you know how COVID got out of control. In such case, no, in all 14 districts we have we say we pro follow the same protocol. But in some cities like Kochi, in Tiruvannathapuram and Kodikot, where the population density uh, is uh, quite high, definitely we'll be having such public health protocols. My colleague Jay Lakshmi is joining us on this story. Jay Lakshmi, could you tell us more about this second case that is being reported from the state of Kerala? Uh, yes, what we understand is that the primary details is that uh, this uh, specific person has been detected from Ernakula and our uh, LPNC has confirmed that he was traveling from another country and uh, that is where the virus, uh, sorry, uh, the disease was carried from. And uh, now that it is in Ernakulam district, so definitely uh, the entire district has been in high alert. But other than that, there has been precautionary measures because as we know, this is the second case of MPOX that has been, uh, you know, confirmed in the state of Kerala. So definitely after the first case was detected and confirmed, there have been uh, many, uh, there have been many uh, warning alert systems that have been put in place. The health, health department is uh, definitely, uh, you know, monitoring and uh, doing surveillance of the entire uh, state. And in fact, control rooms have been set up in all the 14 districts of the state, and which is specifically, uh, you know, for the diagnosis of these special cases. Not only MPOX, we know that Kerala has been battling several other diseases as well, like uh, the brain eating amoeba and uh, the Nipah virus. So uh, not only MPOX is there, there are other diseases that are already there in the state. So definitely control rooms, uh, isolation wards have been set up, control rooms have been set up. So all of these uh, alert systems are in place. The health, uh, entire health department is working towards that. And in fact, we also know the health minister herself 
is monitoring the situation uh, back and forth. You know, every week she visits Malappuram, which has been the hotspot of diseases for a while now. So uh, all the systems are in place and people and creating awareness is again one of the major steps that has been instructed by the state government wherein uh, the government is trying to spread awareness as much as they can through articles, through statements, by releasing statements through hospitals, via doctors. And, uh, you know, uh, these are the uh, steps that have been taken by the government. Right. And they have also started monitoring the airports and all the border areas as well, especially to ensure that right. there is no disease that is being carried from outside the state as well.